about Tesla's life. After that, we give you a presentation which showing some of the Tesla's inventions and uh, if you'd like to take part, that would be great. And then after that, I'll show you the urn with ashes of Tesla. Inside is the secondary coil and that ball over there is the grounding, applying the alternating current through the primary coil. We create a strong electromagnetic field that generates the electricity in the secondary coil and then the electricity needs to travel somewhere. It will be also physics to travel to the nearest grounding, which, if you don't step too close, will be that ball over there. As we, we can see, the ball is not connected to the rest of the device, so that transfer will happen through the air or in form of a lightning or electrical discharge. And that electrical discharge will break air molecules around here in the ions, which will really fill this space with electricity. So we will all be conducting half a million volts. I hope you're ready. Yes. Of course, you will be perfectly safe because of something we call skin effect. This electricity may be really high voltage, but it is also really high frequency and those high frequencies will push this electricity to travel only in the surface of our skin, not through our bodies. To explain you, to prove you that you really are conducting half a million volts because you really won't turn anything, I will give you these you neon know, bulbs which will light up when the lightning forms up there. And just make half circle starting from here, one step away from this fence. Everyone, one step away from the fence. I did my family way the thing. Do we have to hold them in a certain way? Do we have to hold them in a certain way? Exactly, but we will. Hold your new lamps at the bottom and up in the air so we can all see them, but come closer, please. One step away from this fence, okay? Okay, come. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Never ever cross this fence over here. Don't touch it, don't cross it, don't cross the vertical wall that it makes. So don't do something like this. Only behind this wall, imaginary wall over here, okay? I have one more important question. Is there anyone in a room with a pacemaker? No. Okay. Let's start then. <laughs>
It's only made from materials that were available for Nikola Tesla at the time, except of this transparent plastic. And this device also connects to Nikola Tesla's great inventions, remote controller and logical end gate. Nikola Tesla was also the first man on the planet who used logical gates in his patents, which are but we now know that logical gates are something that are foundation of every digital technologies. Here we will continue, we'll end the technical part of our tour. I will just explain you what you will also be able to see in the rest of the museum and then you are free to explore for yourself. We will also, if you want to film, try <coughs> the device over there in the corner when, when I finish to the tour. In the room next to you, you will see some interesting animations about Tesla's journeys and Tesla's life. You will also see some interesting patents from mechanical engineering era Tesla was interested about after the devastation of Long Island project. In the big room behind you, you will see some interesting personal belongings of Nikola Tesla, such as suit. It wasn't that by which you can see how tall Tesla was and that he was a man of class, but you also see his gloves that weren't only a fashion detail for Tesla, but also a necessity. He never took a handshake and he always wore gloves. He was a germaphobe. You'll also see some instruments that he used, really original ones, and the replica of the only portrait that was ever took of Nikola Tesla. All the rest are photo photographs, that is the only portrait, and it is, was took by Hungarian princess and Tesla's good friend, Vilma Ljubov Parlagi. He only agreed to pose for her, and in his own terms, he only agreed to pose in Blue Lightning, which is why that portrait is called the Blue Portrait. <coughs> Tesla died in New York City in 1943 and was buried in Orthodox tradition, but Sava Kosanovich, his only successor, succeeded everything Tesla possessed and brought here to Belgrade, which was used for foundation of this museum in 1951. The museum was opened to public in 1952, but Sava Kosanovich also succeeded the remains of Nikola Tesla, which is why he wanted to bring them back here to Belgrade. In 1957, he really did that. Tesla was excremated and posthumously cremated, and from 1957, He's here with us in his urn with Tesla's ashes in it, which is at the end of this tour behind that portrait. And that makes this museum the only memorial museum of Nikola Tesla there is in the world. <laughs> What is the voltage of that? Just 120,000. That was the idea, no? Right? 
In the shape of a ball, the, the one on top, the ball is the urn? Yes, this is his urn. Inside. There is, a, there is just one urn. You see that's reflection. And uh, this is the urn with Tesla's ashes.